Well, hello there. Thank you for being here. This is Kevin Smith with First Team Real Estate here in Southern California. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about should you use an iBuyer? Now, an iBuyer stands for instant buyer. And those people that are looking to sell their homes, these programs are out there. Now, they've grown over the last several years. Um, one particular business has told us that they've sold over 10,000 homes in 2018. And some of these programs uh, are run by Zillow, Open Door, Knock, and OfferPad. These are those programs that ask you to fill out an evaluation on your home. They'll get back to you and ask you some of the upgrades that you may have, but basic boilerplate, just standard uh, things about your home, three bedrooms, five bedrooms, that kind of thing. And some of the prices that they'll give you are most likely going to be maybe 20% less than the fair market value for your neighborhood. So knowing the true value and talking to a real estate agent will let, likely you'll know exactly what you're going to be selling your house for if you were to use an agent. Some of the pros of using an iBuyer program is if you need cash right away, you need to move for relocation, they're gonna give you an offer and you could close whenever you choose to. So if you wanna close in a day, um, a week, uh, maybe I've heard as low as 17 hours, then that's a great program for you. Um, you can also set the date so you don't have to move between two different properties. You can actually set a date where you actually want to give them the keys. Now, another benefit might be that you don't want to have an open house. You're a private person and you don't want your neighbors to know that you're selling your house. So you fill out the evaluation, they give you an offer on that house and you don't even need to have an open house or keep your house clean for showings. That's a great benefit for some people. Um, some of the major cons that you're going to have to watch out for are hidden fees. Um, typically, they could charge anywhere from 13 to 15 percent, whereas using a standard real estate agent, the commissions are usually anywhere from five to seven percent, and there's no hidden fees. Another con is they're going to ask you um, for typically repairs. So they'll offer you a price at the beginning, you sign the contract saying that's a great price, and then they come in to actually view the home and find that they're needing to be repairs. Now, as an investor, you're, they're gonna wanna make money. So of course, they're going to want a reduction in the offer, and you may be stuck. You've signed the contract, and now you have to proceed with their contract because you agreed on their price. Another one is, you know, sellers are not represented. So you sign the dotted line, you've offered, uh, you've accepted their offer, and now you have no representation. Using a uh, typical realtor like myself, we would negotiate for you, we'd fill out the contracts for you, um, we'd be representing you and your best interest. Feel free to reach out to me by phone, text, or email if you have any more questions. Look forward to speaking to you all soon. Take care and have a great week.